Oh, that's right. This would have been a perfect time for one of those. Okay, but look at this. Like See how, now oh, imagine oh, if you oh. had that. That's if I had nice. a camera, I'd take a picture, but I've got a handful of orange. That's okay. <laughs> Dave, Dave's got it covered. Do you have a thing to put this in? No. Um, sort of. A sorcerer? Um. Here, I'll, uh, you guys. You can put it on that, on that paper towel there. That paper towel there. There we go. And then you shake off the excess. I mean, can you imagine? And the inside is lickety clean. So you're not going to get anything stuck. Right. No place, no how. I'll do one more just for you vegematics at home there. <laughs> yeah. In case you went out and got yourself a peanut butter sandwich, you want to know how to do this. Barbecuepitboys.com. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by Barbecue Pit Boys. There's chapters all over the world. They're good guys. They know what they're doing when it comes to barbecuing. We, have we got another sponsor? Is that what you're doing? We do. Now, this one looks like a bit of a mess. This is the one you give your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Hi, mom. And uh, we have some. Okay, so now we've got, uh, we've got sugared glasses. We've got sugared glasses. And so this is going to work out just fine now. And you've got a maraschino cherry? I've got uh, three. Okay. So we're going to double this one, and we're going to share it out three ways. Fair enough? That, that seems fair. Okay. Are you going to put any rye in it? So you prepare a rocks glass, which oh, is what we have done. Okay. I'm excited. We combine equal measures of super fine sugar and cinnamon in a plate, and you frost the rim, which we've done. Oh, man. Tell and you. if you could do this three hours ago, yeah, even better. I like that. Uh, you know, this is it's like uh, it's like the Apollo 11 mission. In the bottle of a mixing glass, we're going to use this shaker. It's nothing like the Apollo 11 mission. <laughs> we're going to muddle a couple of orange yes. slices. Nothing wrong with a little hyperbole. Hyperbole. And then we're going to get a couple of these guys. Does that mean I need more orange slices? No. I don't know. <laughs> I think maybe I do. Maybe we might. We're good just for garnish. Give us some uh, uh, half wedges or something that we can do a magical thing with. There's and your cherries. A maraschino cherries. So look at that. So you'd put in a couple of slices, or you'd put in a slice of orange, which we'd put two because we're doubling it. And don't you'd put in a maraschino yeah. cherry. Don't put your necktie in it. Yeah. <laughs> you almost did. Oh my gosh, hang on. And. And. Marmalade. Oh, the secret ingredient. A secret ingredient. How do you, how do you, uh, what do you, how much? Um... It calls for a bar spoon or a teaspoon of orange marmalade. And so there's some marmalade. This end should be quite neat, I think. Yeah. Do you know why? Because of the marmalade? Yes, exactly. <sighs> And it's so easy to measure, it's like it measures itself. <laughs> I don't think so. And you only use Mrs. Mendelbaum's, uh, <laughs> Mendelbaum's uh, marmalade. This time I'm that. using Tesco. Oh. The fine British product, oh. Tesco. Hmm. Oh, we're the boys from Tex Texaco. We work from Maine to Mes Mex Me Mexico. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Are you the stuttering cowboy? <laughs> I'm stuttering cowboy. And yeah. then it calls for a quarter ounce of Domaine de Canton ginger liqueur. I'm not very wealthy, <laughs> so we're going to use Bowles ginger liqueur. But if you have Domaine de Canton hanging around the house, use that. By all means. But we're going to hope that this works just fine. So we've got the sweetness of the orange, the sweetness of the maraschino cherry. Thank you. The sweetness of the ginger liqueur and the sweetness of the orange marmalade. I don't know if you like a lot of sweetness. <laughs> Usually I'm in there somewhere. Oh, sure. And just a touch of Fred. <laughs> yeah. Aww. And so now we're just going to muddle this. Can we just make wedges out of this thing? Uh, well, you know, like these things. Oh, the, one the of brown those. ones. Sure. So this squeezes all of the juice out and ideally none of the bitter pith. Hey. How do you do that? I don't know, but I'm doing it. And this amount of liquid, of course, will help dissolve the uh, marmalade. Because at first you're thinking, I don't want a great big goopy hunk of marmalade in the bottom of my glass. Or do you? Oh, I do. Mm. I might be the only one. So that has been muddled. I don't know if Dave can get a shot of that, but that looks... I could if I can. Oh, yeah. That's that enough? firmly muddled. Oh, yes. The muddled mess. <laughs> the muddled mess of the royal ginger snack. And I would love to taste that just as it is, but I'm not going to. But I will smell it. It smells like orange juice, <laughs> ginger, marmalade, <laughs> and a maraschino cherry. Well, that seems or a maraschino cherry. So, 
Marmalade all that. Add the whiskey, the bitters, and the ice. Dave has some Angostura bitters right here. It calls for two dashes. So we'll throw in a two dashes. It also calls for Crown Royal. Now this is that garbage they make <laughs> in Gimli, Manitoba. Yeah. yeah. I teased them. That's not even been open, has it? No. Getting them cracked that. No. Can you see up close? I can't no. see. <laughs> this is a great product. The Crown Royal has been around forever and a day. It used to come in a, in a, in a purple bag. Faux what? velvet. That's right. I remember the purple bag. Yeah. Isn't yeah. that black velvet that came in the purple bag? Oh, no, I think black velvet Royal. came in a some sort of tube, didn't it? Came in the mail. Oh, maybe you're right. Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. So it's two ounces of this. Yeah. Should be good stuff. Oh, yeah. And as always, we double it for your listening pleasure. Because nothing sounds better than drunks. Or Crown oh, Royal beans. Oh, that sounds good. It smells even better. It smells like Canadian rye. Whiskey, that is. Yeah. So I was going to bring the, the Northern Harvest, but I thought that, that might be gilding the lily a bit. A oh, bit. you don't want to be you're accused of gilding the lily. No. No. I have been. It's no fun. Nobody <laughs> wants to be accused of that. Add the oh. whiskeys, bitter, and ice, and shake well, and then strain it into the prepared glass over ice. And we've prepared it by doing our best. Okay. So let so me throw a couple of cubes here. into each of these glasses here for us, what we're going to eat here in short order. Maybe not eat. <laughs> well, it'll go into our bouche. Oh, sure, our bouche. And where's my little, here's the strainer, because we're going to double strain, because this is going to be full of fiber. Really? Yeah. Well, it's oh, got a, kind of the got a bunch of mashed up sure. garbage in it. So we'll put it's some ice like in there. Like a yucca flux. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. A little bit like a yucca flux. Fred? <laughs> hey. Oops. I'm going to put one more in here. Okay. All right. And then we're going to shake this monkey up, and then we'll be good. You ready? Mm -hmm. The Royal Ginger Snap. <laughs> we haven't done that for a while. No, we haven't. Yeah. And you know what I want. It's like me in a wedding. Oh, yeah, this is it. Are you putting a there we go. Shook the hell out of it because yeah. of the, uh, you know. Oh, the, the fruit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah, really got to work up more. I didn't have that <laughs> for lunch. <laughs> it's okay. We got lots of fruit. I went buying oranges. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, it smells like a tiki drink. Yay! <laughs> That's right. It says somebody way in the back. <laughs> and let's uh, see what we can do here. I'm going to take some pictures. So if anybody's wondering what that funny noise is, is it pictures? Yeah, uh, or it could just be my lunch. <laughs> How's it working? So far, so good. It it's looks just... sort of like uh, uh, applesauce. Yes. It's, uh... <laughs> but there's no apple in it. Not yet. What? No, there's no apple in it. You're right. <laughs> and the, the, the fine straining is great. I mean, this is, this is your craft bartender kind of stuff, right? When you're pouring something through something through another thing. Yeah, into, into a thing that's crusted with other stuff. Yes. I just wish it looked a little bit better because we can't fill it all the way up to the top. Sorry, Dale.